r slash ask reddit reddit what is something that you can't believe is actually a real thing the share button on porn sites hey grandma would love this dv da gangbang scene the chromecast button right under the play button seems dangerous as duck too it's convenient when you live alone wild guinea pigs I've seen them as pets but for some reason I find the thought of them running around wild both hard to visualize and hysterically hilarious. Edit. Some things I learned because of this comment. The domesticated guinea pigs people have as pets don't exist in the wild. Disappointing but interesting. Guinea pigs are herd animals. Which is funny as hell. People. Eat them. Open bracket. Mainly in Peru from what I've seen. Wild hamsters. And hedgehogs. Are also hilarious. There is no guinea pig documentary. There needs to be one. Thanks reddit. You made my day multiple times with laughs and learns. What's funny and cute is they are herd animals. I just imagine a herd of cute little guineas running at full speed. No. Ha ha ha. I need a documentary about them now. I think it'd make me cry from laughing. Unicorns are fake but giraffes are real. Giraffes. And narwhals. A fat underwater unicorn, also the duck-billed platypus. But a narwhal's horn is a tooth whereas the unicorn has a horn like a rhino dees. Didn't think this is gold worthy but thank you kind stranger. I can never believe spies and hitmen are real things that happen behind the curtains of everyday life. Edit. Apart from the events we see on the news where spies are caught or mess up. There is probably a high target operation going on right now as we are talking about these things. That's crazy. Hackers. 2. Not script kiddies, but people with degrees who intrude companies for other companies, or for security testing, i.e. intrusion specialists, penetration testers. My bad. Edit. Ouch. My inbox. These guys make a lot of money. It's so important to businesses as well. Like my company has one in retainer that periodically tries to intrude all the time from phishing and hacking to social engineering. It's now become a game between him and I to see who wins every month. I'm the security guy on networking. So I have the disadvantage considering my company won't spend money till I lose lol. Prosthetic limbs that can be controlled as though they were flesh and blood. Not that long ago. Losing a limb meant being given a cheap. Plastic replacement that didn't move. Now we're entering into the realm of Deus Ex style bionics and augmentations. Just don't offer them to anyone named Barry. One of my close friends works in nanotechnology and prosthetic enhancements to make them more realistic and actually bond technology to nerves and living tissue to make them like our own limbs. Part of the inspiration was destroying his elbow and essentially having it replaced with screws and gears, among other things. It's insane to listen to him talk about what's becoming possible. Cyborgs are real. LOL Automail is becoming a reality. A little late to the party but for me it's blue whales that thing is enormous it's literally a goddamn sea monster. It just so happens to be a sea monster that eat tiny crabs. But still, their hearts are the size of a small car or a small ducking car. It also blows my mind that the blue whale is the largest animal to have ever existed. Thanks to television and movies I always imagined that some dinosaur would hold the record. But nope, it's the blue whale. This is what I like. Makes me less sad that we didn't miss the entire age of large animals. Just large land animals. YouTube tutorials. That you can nowadays actually fix something by watching a 3 10 minutes video. 10 01 minutes video fix that for you. 40 second dubstep intro opens notepad on desktop of anime character hey what's up guys my name is xxxxxxtechardragonxxxxx and today we're going to fix. Internet. Sometimes it's unbelievable I can instantaneously converse with people 10. 000 kilometers away from me as if they were right in front of me. Edit. I'm glad so many of you relate to this post. What's even crazier is you could be anonymously talking to someone online that is sitting 5 feet from you and not even know. I am looking at you right now. When the first iPhone released, CNN showed the pinch zoom and I thought it was fake. Child beauty pageants. A bunch of grown adults make kids compete for most attractive child. Seems so obviously toxic and perverse. How some organic material in your head and some chemicals firing in your body are creating thoughts and feelings. Edit. Fixed grammar issue edit 2. 
Woohoo. My first gold for a comment made by my own organic material. Similarly, everything you see around you, technology, cars, objects, etc., are created by combining certain things together in specific ways. I'm a software engineer and it still boggles my mind that all I do is essentially manipulate electrical signal on and off. My dog. Sometimes when I'm cuddling her I truly cannot believe there is an animal sitting in my house that trusts and loves me. She will be walking through the kitchen sometimes and I'm like, that's an animal in my house. Edit. Someone asked for pics. You got it meet Dotty. You're an animal tapping on a glowing box that transmits your thoughts to other animals staring at glowing boxes. No you are. There's a building in your town where you can get as many free books as you want. As long as you promise to play nicely and bring them back soonish so other people can enjoy them. And people actually do it. It's more than just books too. DVDs. CDs. Ebooks. Tools. Laptops. Professional cameras and gear. Video and still. And more I can't remember. Hell. My city library has 3D printers patrons can print with. Edit. Toronto Public Library. Resources vary by branch. Obviously, 3D printing required taking a class on how to use third printers, about an hour, and runs almost every week somewhere. Prints are limited to 2 hours of machine time and cost zero. Ten dollars per gram. Don't forget video games. If a fantasy author tried to invent a creature like bees, then nobody would believe they could possibly exist. Okay get this, they barf honey edit. I'm glad this is my most upvoted comment now edit too. Gold seriously? Thank you. Colon. It's sugar that never goes bad. Slavery in this day and age. 10 million children 24. 9 million people in forced labor 15. 4 million people in forced marriage 4. 8 million people in forced sexual exploitation. And knew that slavery still existed. But 10 million children? Holy shit that's so much more than I thought. What countries does this happen in? Everyone including the one you live in. Typically in sex trafficking. Platypuses. I mean, what even are those things? They look like beavers fused with ducks. They are mammals but they lay eggs. They're just the product of some ducked up science experiment. There is no other explanation. And they have venomous spurs. Seriously. I wish I could remember her name, but there was this Australian lady who'd given birth, been shot in the kneecap, and stung by a platypus. Not all at once, obviously, but in the course of her life, she said that the platypus sting was, by far, the most painful thing she's ever experienced. Yikes. Smartphone. I have the entire internet, my entire music library, and a bunch of games, and oh that phone thing too, in my pocket. Everything is accessible at all times. It's wonderful and kinda crazy when you step back. It truly is amazing. And you know what we use this for? Looking at tits. Amazing. Computers. I mean, I study them. But the more I know about them, the more impressive they become. Edit. It's surprising how there are literally dozens of comments that make the same trick to rock into thinking jokes. It gets a bit stale. Just billions of ifs, ands, ors, nans, and nots all coming together to present me memes. Electrons all the way down. Man. I've met several people who didn't know that narwhals are a real animal. Edit. So many of you. I'm honestly jealous. It's like finding out as an adult that maybe some mythical creatures are real. Keeps the dream alive. My friend thought chipmunks were just baby squirrels. That might be a more common assumption than you think. Also, my wife and mother-in-law briefly thought jackalope were real. Edit. Today I learned the jackalope belief is more prominent than you think. drive through liquor stores. Every liquor store is a drive through if you're drunk enough. The entire Jonestown situation from the 70s. The thought that one man had that big of a power trip and could lure so many followers to South America is unbelievable. And not only that but the fact that he could brainwash so many people to willingly drink the Kool-Aid is just astounding. The whole situation was just tragic. Edit. Yes people. I know about the podcasts and that it was Flavor Aid. R.I.P. my inbox. Edit 2. Seriously people, does it really matter if it was Kool-Aid or Flavor Aid? Everyone feels the need to be correct I guess. Stop messaging me. 
He specifically targeted people who were mentally challenged, and a lot of them didn't drink willingly, and quite a few were just gunned down. From what I have read, he did do practice runs, and a lot of people drank it thinking this was another drill, then people started dying. There were people who didn't drink willingly either, that whole thing is crazy, there was supposed to be a downer in the drink so people would fall asleep before the poison killed them, but it didn't work like that and the people who did drink died a painful death, edit, changed supposed to supposed and dying to dying. The Apollo program, we strapped dudes on top of 36 stories of explosives to explode them to the moon and then exploded them back, without them dying. Oh and basically to get them back they fell back to earth from the height of the moon. If that is not crazy enough, Apollo 13 happened. On that mission they got exploded to space. Then what they were traveling in exploded mid trip. They then had to limp the thing most of the way home using little explosions. Slingshotting themselves around the dark side of the moon. All the while using the lunar module, LM, as a makeshift lifeboat until it was close to time to come back to earth. Then getting back into the command service module, CSM, for Hopathal's successful re-entry, not knowing if or of not the heat shield was damaged by the main mission ending explosion. Oh yeah, they also had help by mission control to basically Mac Jiva the carbon dioxide scrubbing system in the LM to support 3 people for 4 days, using just random bits from both parts of the craft and specifically extra filters from the CSM, calling the finished product the mailbox. CRISPR, and gene editing therapy in general, I mean, the fact that we're nearing an age where we can modify the makeup of our DNA has huge implications, there will have to be an extensive legal system that results from this technology, I hope they can find out the genetic link to depression and let me edit that ducking useless shit out of my DNA already. Antibiotics, antibiotic resistant bacteria. We created a series of drugs that killed absolutely everything. Diseases that used to kill disfigure us in horrible ways could be wiped out after taking some pills for a few days. And now, for a multitude of largely preventable reasons, a lot of those miracle murder drugs are less and less effective as bacteria evolve resistance to them. Soon some of those illnesses that have just been an inconvenience to us for the past several decades could become deadly and horrible again. Edit. I love that my day drinking comment has become the most popular one I've ever made. I should stay up late and reddit more often. Not much seems to happen here at night. Surprisingly. Resistance usually occurs because a handful of the infecting bacteria survived the court and combined with the fact that a lot of people's immune system is infantile because they rely on antibiotics for everything. I personally believe people should limit the use of antibiotics and let their immune system handle it unless they're suffering from serious or debilitating diseases including leprosy, TB, or others. People getting antibiotics for their colds, sore throats, Flu ETC are only setting their immune systems up for failure in the end edit. People keep pointing out that the cold and flu are viral which I know and am using to illustrate my point. That's not the issue, so much as farmers just pump livestock with antibiotics, which then leach into the water supply etc. People taking antibiotics because they're ill is exactly how they need to be used. But the problem now, is that they've been misused so horrifically by industry, that we're running out of time before they become largely ineffective. I hear all these crazy stories of flat earthers and I cannot believe a person could be so close minded and just plain stupid. When mathematical proofs were first introduced to me in college, our professor had his flat earther friend come in and talk about flat earth theory for about 45 minutes, and after she left, spent the remaining class time systematically destroying each and every argument. That was the first time I considered that maybe some of these hardcore believers really do exist. Scientology. HTTPS colon slash slash en Wikipedia or Wiki the whole. Scientology. Influencers. There are really people out there who follow them on social media, admire them and so on. My idol. He she is so real, but in reality they are a combination of a model, a banner ad and a prostitute. I can believe that the influencers exist, but it baffles me that it's a successful tactic. People really like looking at attractive people. Envy can be a powerful thing. There's a car floating around in outer space. Also the fact that rockets are reusable now. 
the way rockets were, it's like if whenever you rode a plane, instead of landing, everyone just jumped out on parachutes and the plane crashed, every single time. Astronomer here, there are now a few thousand known exoplanets, aka planets around other stars, and for many of them it's hard to believe they actually exist and it's not just science fiction. There is a planet bigger than Jupiter but with the density of styrofoam. There is a so called diamond planet where, as the name implies, the planet is carbon rich in composition and is likely a third diamond. There is one where it rains vaporized rocks, and those are just a few off the top of my head. It's so fascinating to see what diverse worlds there are out there. Edit. People are asking how you find the density of an exoplanet. For planets found via the transit method, where it briefly eclipses the star, you know the size of the planet based on how long it takes to cross in front of the star and can thus figure out things like its radius. Then, once you know that, you can find its mass by first watching the transits to figure out the planet's period of orbit, and from that you can use Kepler's third law. Density is equivalent of mass over volume. So voila, styrofoam planet. Here is a more detailed explanation. We should just call that planet styrofoam. Foamy McFoam face. The small penis rule for a fictional portrait to be actionable. It must be so accurate that a reader of the book would have no problem linking the two, said Mr. Friedman. Thus, he continued, libel lawyers have what is known as the small penis rule. One way authors can protect themselves from libel suits is to say that a character has a small penis. Mr. Friedman said, now no male is going to come forward and say, that character with a very small penis, that's me. I'm also find it amusing that this all came to be better known because Michael Crichton got a bad review and wanted a bit of petty revenge. People over the age of 6 eating Tide Pods, edit 1. A lot of people out there are saying barely anyone actually did it. Well, one is too many, edit 2. As you slash Zelf has pointed out, this shit is actually happening at a rate greater than one person ever. So it is too many by my criteria. Virus. On the microscopic level, they are creepy and dark. They aren't even technically living. They inject their own DNA into a cell, recoding it to make more viruses until the cell literally bursts open and dies because of all the viruses in it. It's possible for every single one of those viruses to attach to a different cell and insert DNA that does the same thing. WTF. Humans were the only thing that has existed the way we exist in the history of time on this planet. Nothing else has even come close to what we do on a daily basis. Nothing else has ever built a road or a bridge for the benefit of their species. Nothing else has ever come close to leaving our planet. But we do it reasonably often. Nothing else has built a network where they can instantly communicate with another member of their species the way humans have. No other animal has built anything more ingenious than a spear. We've built nuclear bombs, airplanes, rockets, drones, cars, boats, elevators, TV, radio, the internet, robots that can do backflips etc w ever also change other species. Remember that dogs used to be wolves. We did that. We get a chihuahua from a ducking grey wolf after many, many generations of selective breeding. We've domesticated cows. Horses, goats, sheep, pigs, chickens, ducks etc etc. We are capable of literally destroying the world we live on, or saving it. We are the biggest mind duck of all and we don't ever think about it. OJ Simpson beating murder. That the trial became so divided by race, even though it was literally about a husband murdering his wife. It was a tactic by his defense team to make it so. Sort of worked I guess. The scale of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. The radius of unlivable land was absolutely insane. It's especially crazy because it wasn't super suburban. I can't even imagine something like this happening in my area. Original r slash critic posts. The problem is the original ones don't make it to the front page. Go sort by new and check out all the original questions. Some of them are shitty but there are definitely some interesting ones. Unfortunately people find the generic ones and want to take the opportunity to regurgitate the top comments they saw the last time the same question was posted. And they upvote it into the heavens. 
theory of relativity. How the duck can a person in space be aging slower than a person on earth? Edit. Slow? More slowly? Sorry. English isn't my first language. I appreciate anyone correcting me. I'm more messed up with the core concept. Time isn't reliable. It changes based on frame of reference. That messes with me a lot. Kittens. They're these tiny baby balls of fluff with triangles on top of their heads and paws that look like teddy bears underneath. And they gently rumble and vibrate when they're content. Virginity haven't seen one IRL. So they might be an elaborate hoax. R slash stealing it's a bunch of entitled shits bragging about how they broke the law. Shaq's penis. I mean have you seen how big that guy's hands are? I almost feel bad for the woman that has to take that monster up into her small intestine. I'm still amazed at how quickly fake news and conspiracy theories get disseminated, with people willing to believe what circulated without fact checking. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.